Hi everybody and welcome to this new video. Weeks ago I published a video about integrating AI components into a real-time multiplayer game built with Amazon Gamelift and Unity 3D. And I faced a problem. In this video I will explain how I could solve it and what the AWS team thinks about it. But first let me give you a hint of context. This is the architecture I presented in my last video. On the left side, we have the architecture of a real-time multiplayer game I always suggest in my videos and articles. On the right side, we have a Lambda function invoking Bedrock, the generative AI service of Amazon. Let's focus on the high-voltage part. To connect my real-time server and the Lambda function, I added code to my real-time script to assume the service role and invoke the Lambda function. To do so, I use the AWS SDK for JavaScript. Consequently, this is a problem I faced. I was not able to work with the last up-to-date version of the JavaScript SDK version 3. It made my real-time server crash when starting. Instead, I used version 2 and everything worked like a charm. Now you may wonder, why is this guy bothering us with a version matter? If it works with version 2, that's okay. Actually, it is very convenient working with version 3, and I will explain why. First of all, the AWS SDK for JavaScript version 2 is in maintenance mode, meaning that it is almost deprecated. As a developer, I like to work with up-to-date tools. Then version 3 has a big advantage. It has modularized packages, meaning that you can install and import only the packages you need instead of downloading and importing the whole SDK. Remember that real-time servers don't have the AWS SDK installed on them. So if you work with version 2, you will have to upload the whole SDK to GameLift and you will face a size issue. You can solve it by uploading your zip to an S3, your zip file to an S3 bucket, but you will have to create an extra role and it adds some complexity to your implementation. At this point, I began to wonder if I had missed something in the AWS documentation. I delved into it and I found this requirement in the SDK documentation. Basically, there is a constraint between the SDK version and the Node.js version. Then I looked for the Node.js version running on the real-time servers, but there is no clue in the whole GameLeaf documentation. So let's find out. In my real-time script, I added a line of code to print into the logs the Node.js version running on the real-time servers. Then I checked the game session logs. I recommend you check my previous video to know how to do it. And surprise, an old version of Node.js is running on the real-time servers, 10.15.2. That could be a problem because the last version of the JavaScript SDK version 3.494 is not compatible with this version of Node.js. So what I did was install the STS and Lambda packages with a Node version of the JavaScript SDK compatible with a Node.js requirement, version 3.40. Then I rewrapped and I re-uploaded it to GameLift, this time without size issues. And it worked. While I was stuck with this problem, I contacted the GameLift team and they told me the following. GameLift does not support JavaScript SDK version 3 for real-time servers. And they are taking it as an announcement request. In conclusion, we can say the following. You can use the AWS SDK for JavaScript version 3, and I demonstrated how to do it with the right version. However, the GameLift team recommends still using ver version 2 to avoid compatibility issues. 
And that's it. I would like to give a very big thanks to the GameLift team who gave me a precise answer to my very technical question. And Chris Blackwell for his help and the guidance he's always providing me regarding game services. Also, a big thanks to you for watching this video until the end. If you liked it, you can subscribe to my channel to watch more videos about Unity 3D and AWS. We are actually 100 on this channel for me. That's a lot. Thank you all. If you have any feedback or questions, feel free to reach out to me on my social networks. See you in the next video.